If your foundation isn't strong, they're not going to make that much long-term difference. Yeah. And those three keys are one, knowing that your citizenship isn't in this world, but in another world. So what happens in this world doesn't matter long-term. Secondly, knowing that God is in control. God has not left you, forgotten about you, or abandoned you. And thirdly, knowing that this current dynasty is going down, so I'm not worried about it, because it's going to go down. This world is not permanent. And from that, God gives you peace, my friend. Romans 8, verse 15. So you've not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Instead, you received God's spirit when he adopted you as his own children. Now we call him Abba Father. Daddy, Daddy, is what that means. You've not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. You received God's spirit when he adopted you as children. Now we call him Abba. We don't, we don't have the spirit of fear, of fearful slaves, if you don't know what it means to have a real daddy. Because your daddy wasn't a real daddy. Let me tell you what a real daddy's like. A real daddy picks you up in the middle of the night even when he wants to be asleep and holds you when you're crying. A real daddy cleans up your messes and walks beside you. That's what a real daddy does. A real daddy loves you no matter what. And he holds you in his arms and says, you're special to me. That's what a real daddy does. Amen. You don't have to be scared when a real daddy holds you. If you haven't had a real daddy, I'm sorry. That's what a real daddy does. 2 Timothy 1, 7, For God has not given us the spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. You don't need to be scared about what's going on in your life, because God says, I've given you power, love, and self-discipline. You're going to get through it, and I've given you something greater than fear. You don't have to be afraid. 1 John 4, 18, and I love this one, Such love has no fear, because perfect love expels all fear. Amen. Amen. God is love, and His perfect love expels your fear because He wraps His arm around you and says, I'm your daddy, I'm there for you, and I love you. You don't have to live in fear of whatever it is coming up in your life, my friend. Whatever transition you face, you don't have to live in stress. You don't have to live in fear. This is not the end. God is in control, and what happens in this world doesn't matter that much because your citizenship is in the next world. Amen. Amen. If you're dealing with fear right now, I want you to imagine Jesus wrapping his arms around you right now and saying, I have a plan. I'm not out of control. and I'm not freaked out. I knew this would happen, and while perhaps there are things in your life that feel out of control and pain that's hurting you that you would have never chosen for yourself, you've been hurt by someone else, he still says, I am right here, and I'm not. I'm not out of control. I'm walking with you. I'm walking with you through this pain. Let's turn back around your table for a minute. These three things, knowing that this world is not your home, knowing that God is in control, and that this stuff is passing away, and there's a new world coming, those are the three keys from Daniel 5 of dealing with stress and transition and challenges, which gave Daniel the ability to stand with confidence in front of a world that was spinning out of control and he knew it. He knew it better than anybody else in that world. Think how much to process this around your table. Well, how, where does this impact your life? What does this mean to you? And what challenges are you facing? Or where has God, you've seen this happen in your own life at some point in the past? Take a few minutes just to process this. What does this mean?